This tire right here is about to find its way into my trunk. It's going to become my new spare. I was at the dealership. They had a bunch of steel rims for this car. And I said, I will take one, please. Found myself an old spare tire, and now I'm going to have a full-size spare. Makes me feel an awful lot better knowing if I get a flat, I don't have to deal with that tiny little donut. It's a pretty straightforward process. Remove anything that's in between you and that spare tire. You might know, I used to have a 2014 Mirage till I traded up to this 21 due to a AS ending that totaled my 14. And this upgrade here I thought was pretty cute. They got a little strap that holds the seat belt to the back seats. So when you fold the seat down, the seat belt doesn't slide off to the side. I thought that was kind of a nice little upgrade. And when cleaning out my 14, I took all the floor mats for the trunk with. There's an awful lot of sound comes up and through that spare tire wheel well. So now I have three layers of carpet back there. It makes the car a little quieter. And here we are. Excavation's almost completely complete. Here's the spare. Undo this little T-handle. And you can take this sad looking little donut spare out of the wheel well. And this right here is why I do it. Look at the difference there. That donut spare will get you by. It's the same diameter, but the width is pitifully narrow. Very little of the tire I feel like touches the road. I have had a flat a little over 100 miles away from home, and I'm just not comfortable driving that distance on something that narrow. So since the wheel well fits a full-size spare, I'm going to have a full-size spare. This little T-handle spinner there, you're going to want to put that in. If you have an older Mirage, it'll be long enough oh, shit. without any modifications if you have an older Mirage of this generation. If you have at least a 21 like I do, I had to extend that out mm, about an inch longer. I did take it to a shop and I welded it up, and, but that wasn't something I could film. It is 10 millimeter fine thread, you could just use a plain old bolt, but whatever you do, don't put a full-size tire back there without tightening it down to the floor. That will turn into a projectile if you have an accident. You do not want that. And there you go. Tighten that down. Start reassembling. You've got yourself a full-size spare. And while we're here, and I was curious, I wanted to see what came in that fancy little bag of stuff that they give you in the trunk. You got your tow hook for the front. There's your jack handle. And your tire iron. That's it. That's everything that's in the trunk. The jack is underneath the driver's seat. You should end up needing it, and you're looking for it, and you can't find it. It's kind of an odd location, but where they stuck it. have it. Everything's back together. Trunk's back to the way it should be and now there's a full-size spare in the car so I can scoot all over the countryside and not have to worry as much about getting a flat. Thanks for watching. See you next time.